Well, hey, folks, thank you for joining us today. I'm Robbie Smith with the Catawba River Baptist Association, and today we have a special treat. We have with us today, we have, if I can get the camera working right, this is Terry Robinson of Faith Missionary Baptist. And uh, Terry, we're grateful for you being here, buddy. Thank you for your work with your church. This is a time where folks in our association and folks all around the state can get to know you better. So Terry, tell us a little bit about yourself, your family, and your church, if you would. Uh, well, I, I grew up in North Carolina, and uh, I lived up in uh, Spruce Pine, and then uh, work brought us down here, and then uh, the church uh, called us to uh, do the ministry and start pastoring it. And uh, so uh, I'm thankful and grateful uh, that the Lord put us in the right place. Right. And you said, how long have you been here at the church? Uh, I've been Mission? here uh, 15 years. 15 years. So you've yeah. seen a lot of change in Glen Alpine, right? Is your address yeah. Glen Alpine or is it Nebo? Uh, address is uh, Glen Alpine. Yeah. Uh, Bailey Street. Bailey Street. Uh, okay. Highway 70. So you've seen a lot of change, have you not? Yes, sir. So yeah. I have. Well, how would you how would you classify your church? Is it a family church or yes. something different? It, it's a really a family church. Uh, it's a loving church. Uh, it's a caring church. Uh, it's a it's a church that uh, reaches out in the community and uh, helps uh, one another in the community when there's a need there and when there's something you know that uh, needs to be done through the church. Uh, the church always steps up to that to that challenge. Yeah, it seems to me your church is filled with folks who like to get their hands dirty in ministry, meaning they like to be doing things for other people. Would you agree with that? Right. Yeah. Yes, sir. We uh, we really are. Uh, we're associated with the uh, with the food pantry here in uh, Glen Isle Pine also, uh, and we also. Uh, do many ministries uh, outside of that, outside the food pantry. It's a big help to the community. Uh, we feed a lot of people in that community of uh, mm -hmm. Glen Isle Pine. Yeah, that's good. I know that you've got a good relationship with the other pastors in the community as well. Don't y'all do something big, on, or you used to before COVID. Right. Uh, yeah. Didn't y'all do, a, I think, a fifth Sunday night thing or a singing <clears throat> Yes, sir. We did on a, every fifth uh, Sunday night. We would go to uh, rotating churches, and uh, we would have uh, one singing in one church, and then another fifth Sunday would come up, and we'd rotate to another church. And we had six churches involved in that rotation of singing and just worshiping and uh, praising the Lord and uh, having a good time, you know, together. Yeah. as brothers and sisters in Christ. Right. It wasn't just strictly in your denomination. It was other denominations as well, right? Right, yeah. It was all denominations in the uh, community of Glen Alpine okay. uh, got together at that one time. Yeah. And it was a, a, a joyful, a praising time uh, to give glory to Jesus Christ. One of the things you have a reputation for in Glen Alpine has been a pastor who likes to partner with other churches and pastors in the community, which I think is a very good yeah. thing. It's, it's a good thing to be known for. Yes, it is. Uh, we, uh, I feel a great need that we need to draw closer to one another's churches and combine together. And if we combine together, we can make things happen for the glory of God. Yeah. You know, we can make things change. Uh, and the change will be uh, will be good because it glow it goes to the glory and the praise of Jesus Christ. Amen. And uh, that's what we're here for. We are here to uh, build His kingdom and to see souls saved and to see people come together and just uh, uh, even eat together. You know, break bread together, have a, a communion bread uh, breaking. You know, together and uh, get to know one another more and and uh, and uh, understand people more and more mm -hmm. as we know them and have a close relationship with these other churches in the community. Yeah, that's great. Well, your church has got a great reputation. And one of the things I've been able to worship in your church with you on a right. few occasions, 
And one of the things that I have noticed that your church stands out, y'all love to sing. Yeah. Love to sing from the hymnal and, and uh, yeah. some of the old songs as well. So I think that's great. Yeah, we have a lot of people in our church that uh, loves to sing. We have a uh, uh, husband and wife sing together. We have the youth family or the youth uh, sing together. Uh, they uh, do a wonderful job. Matter of fact, they sung last Sunday for us, uh, two or three specials. And uh, then we have just uh, single groups or single people just sing, you know, on soundtrack. And uh, so they're, they're loving uh, singing church. They really are. Well, I know that a lot of churches have had to deal with COVID-19 lately. Yeah. And uh, now we talk about pre-COVID. <laughs> In post-COVID. And post COVID, and so I know that y'all have had to do some things differently for a while. I think y'all were like most churches around here uh, were quarantining, and so you weren't having mm. services on Sunday per se in person, yeah. but you were doing it online, or is that right? Through yeah. Facebook Live, I think. Yes, sir. We's doing it. We're the, started doing it Facebook Live, and it's the first time that we had ever broke into that new ground what you might say you know and uh it seems to be uh paying off in the long run yeah we've got a lot of uh viewers that comes on and uh watches us and uh that's a blessing it really is that is great it really grows now y'all are meeting back in your building now am i correct yes sir yeah we're back in the church now and uh, we are uh, still on uh, Facebook, still doing it uh, for the glory of the Lord. And uh, people are coming back to the churches uh, a little at a time, you know. Mm -hmm. sure. And uh, we, we, we always have the uh, materials for them, uh, face masks, gloves, uh, sanitizers, uh, anything else available, you know that we have there for the ch for the people that comes in, you know. To make everybody feel comfortable, I'm right. sure. Yeah, to make so, them feel at, just at home, you know. Yeah. So what time do you, uh, for folks who don't have a church maybe and live over, you, your church is in between Glen Alpine and Nebo, right? Right, right. on Highway 70. Yeah, and, right. and what's the other road that is? With? It's uh, Bailey Street. Bailey Street in US right. 70. Uh, so what time do you all meet on Sunday morning? We meet at uh, 10 o'clock on Sunday morning, and then uh, we just started back the last past three Wednesday nights. We started back on uh, 7 o'clock on Wednesday nights. In person? In person, Okay. Yeah. And so the sun, but the Sunday morning service, you're streaming live as well. Right. Right, good. Yeah, we're streaming live. Great. Right? Good. It's wonderful. It's a great church, and I, I'm grateful that you're part of our 67 yeah. churches, our association. Well, Terry, thank you for spending time together, but I want to leave us with this. If you would just sh share the, with the folks who are watching today how they can pray for you specifically and also pray for the church. Right. If you would let them know. Uh, we're like all other churches. We need uh, prayers, and uh, prayer it changes things. And the one that really changes it is the Lord Jesus Christ because he hears our prayer when we do pray and we leave it at his feet and another thing too is that uh every day every day is uh is a new day every day is uh, some kind of new experience that we have uh in going on in our life and uh that's why we need to just pray for one another so i ask you if you will pray for our, our pray for our church and uh, that it may grow continuously and be a glorified church for the Lord Jesus Christ, that where he would get the praise and the honor for it all. Amen. Well, thank you, Terry, for being with us, brother. Thank you. And I remind each of us today uh, to be praying for the folks in our community who don't know Jesus yet, to pray for them that they would come to faith in Christ. Also be praying for our upcoming elections, uh, I get this question all the time. How should I vote? Take your Bible and read it and pray and God will lead you. Stay focused on what God would have you do through his word. Mm -hmm. And uh, you'll be honoring God in that way. So just remember to vote. It's very important this year, of course. Anyway, God bless each of you. Hope you have a wonderful week. Remember to share the gospel 
and pray for those who are needing salvation in our community. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.